What? Build a six-figure business? You gotta be kidding me. Well, today I'm gonna share with you seven proven steps to build a six-figure business. Before we get going though, I'd like you to do a couple things. One, hang on to the very end because I got a great surprise for you at the end. I got a link below for a free giveaway on how to create a six-figure business, much like what we're talking about today. And I would love it if you could share this, give me a like, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that little bell that goes ding. So you get notification when I do more videos. Hey, so let's get into today's topic. Seven proven steps to build a six-figure business. The first step is one, you got to find your niche. And you maybe heard this before, but when I got started, I didn't know what I was going to do. I just, I wanted to help people make money online. I wanted to help people build a business. See, but there's three areas that you can get into because not everybody wants to do that. You can build a business in wealth, like I'm doing, health, and in relationships. And they're all very viable, but inside that niche, you have to kind of get to what they call a red ocean, blue ocean. A red ocean is where all the big players are. I mean, I'm teaching people how to make money. There are a lot of people out there that teach people how to make money. So I had to really kind of narrow down my niche, which gets me to the second part. I had to find my target market. Who am I talking to? And as I narrowed down my niche or my customers who I'm talking to, then I started talking to a certain amount of people rather than millions. So if you're in health, right, teaching people how to lose weight, well, what are you going to talk to them about? Are you going to give them supplements that they can use? Are you going to give them a weight program? Are you going to give them exercise program? That's what I'm talking about developing your niche. Step number two, we talked a little bit about target market, probably need to get into it more and guess what my freebie below will do that. But your target market is, you wanna talk about what keeps them up at night. See, my target market was somebody just like me and usually that's where your target market comes from is things that have happened in your life. I remember there was a time period of my life, man, we were facing foreclosure, I made some mistakes, I didn't know what was gonna happen. All I did know was that I didn't want to get a part-time job at minimum wage. So I had to figure out a way to make some more money, more income. And that's when I discovered the online market. And I had to go through a learning curve. So the first step, find your niche, find your target market, and then what keeps them up there? What are their pain points? And you gotta find the solutions that you can help them with. So, if you're, again, helping somebody lose weight, what keeps them up at night? Well, maybe, if they're like me, they wanna get into a Speedo. Well, not really, they don't wanna get into a Speedo, cause I don't wanna get into a Speedo, they might. So they need to lose weight, get their abs up. So, if that's keeping up, then that, well, how are you going to solve that solution? That's how you start helping your market. Step three is find your message. What's your message to the world? That's a great question. See, my message is the world. Is how to make extra income, create a six-figure business, leave your nine to five by building an online business. That's what I try to talk to people about. When you find your message, you have to learn how to put out your content, valuable content every day. Not spammy, not salesy, but content. Teaching people that are inside your niche what they could be doing next or how they can get started in their business or how they can lose weight or how they can get along better in their relationship, you get to start putting out content about that. So that people are gonna start looking at you as a leader and that you have value. The fourth one is you need to build your email list. And you do that one way, 
is you got to develop the freebie much like the one I have below in the description where you can learn how to build your six-figure business and what people do if you give out valuable freebie that they have to give leave their name and email to get a PDF a checklist an ebook whatever you want to call it then you that's how you start putting out your value to them your content in an email maybe once a week twice a week three times a week you get to choose how often you email your people the next one is step six is know your value see and I did this all wrong when I first got started because I, I was really told by some people that if I'm gonna market products which I do I need to market one for seven dollars and it's great because sometimes you need you know a customer becomes a customer they start developing if you over deliver but sometimes your value is much more than you think it is so when you think your value is you price yourself low it's just the opposite of that you can price yourself what your value is worth I used to sell dogs I was a dog trainer a long time ago very good dog trainer and I had good dogs very good dogs to market my first dog was a golden retriever and I remember I is a young male he's un unbelievable dog unbelievable dog and I started getting people requesting to use him as a stud dog meaning the dad of the dog right the dog dad of the puppies and I reached out to a friend of mine who was a veterinarian because I was new to this game. He said, hey, I asked him, you know, what do I put these at? And he says, you know, you're going to find $100 dogs wherever they are, all over the place. He says, but you have a great dog. I would raise the price. Because then you're going to start selling your puppies to people who actually want to get these puppies and work with them and train them. And it was unbelievable because you'd pick up a paper and these dogs, these puppies were being sold for $100 all over the place. At that time, this was in the early 70s. Ooh, that ages me too. Early 80s. Maybe that sounds better. We put ours at $500. And we sold out so fast, but they were good dogs. So we had to know the value of the puppies. Now that's a story that relates to your business so if you put out a seven dollar product why is not a 97 dollar product if you're thinking about putting out a 47 dollar product and there's lots of them why isn't it a 297 dollar product if you're going to put out a 147 dollar product why isn't it 997 all you have to do is build value put value out there and if you're brand new, guess what? Then there's a way to do something. You go out and invest, learn, and teach. I-L-T. Invest, learn, and teach. So we've gone through six steps. Six steps. And I told you seven proven steps. First was find your niche and your target market. What keeps your customers up at night? What's your message? Build your email list deliver valuable content you with that list and on social media step six is know your value and, and that's so important if you want to build a six-figure business not overpriced stuff but you know your value and seven the biggest thing is learn to serve people and that's the catch because the more you give the more value you give the more you serve you start developing a no like and trust and people will come and buy your products and you don't need a lot of different courses most of the people I follow they might have three or four courses and they change them they improve them but they market them one time a year and they have scaled their business to six figures to seven figures some even to eight figures that's how i got my start i learned to put out more value raise i don't want to say raise my price scale my business scale my product so when you would buy a product for me for 797 
you knew you were going to get a ton of value. Because if you could think about this, if you could pay somebody $800, right? Just a, a number, a thousand dollars, let's say. And that course taught you how to build a business that generated you six figure income. Would that course be worth it to you? I think so. Hey, this is Mark Nelson. I told you to stay to the end. Or I asked you. I don't want to say told you. I got a freebie down below. And I actually have two of them. So there's two links down below. One is a link. That's how to create a six-figure income business. That goes in much more depth than what I do too. The other is a link to a course called Your Digital Blueprint. It's a great course. And for you people today, it's only $47. And that price is low. And that price will raise really soon. Hey, y'all take care. Hit that subscribe button. And then hit that little bell that goes ding. Give me a like. Share this with your people. Make a comment. Tell me if you like this or not. I really need to know. I would love to know. It will help me build more value for you. Peace out. You take care.